clinical vacuum history. Dr. Sherlock, The Science of Deduction, sponsored by Prep Ladder and Walter Skulver. Case presentation, Clinical Biochemistry by Akshita J. A three-year-old Caucasian boy is brought to the clinic for a chronic productive cough not responding to antibiotics given recently. He has no fever or sick contact. His medical history is significant for abdominal distension, failure to pass stool and emesis as an infant. He continues to have bulky fall smelling stools. No diarrhea is present. He has several relatives with chronic lung and stomach problems and some have even died at engage. The examination reveals an ill-appearing slender male in moderate distress. The lung exam reveals poor air movement in the base of the lungs, bilateral and coarse ronchi throughout both lung fields. A chloride sweat test was performed and was positive, indicating cystic fibrosis. What is the mechanism of the disease? So cystic fibrosis, it is an autosomal recessive inheritance disease. So it is due to certain mutations in the CFTR gene, cystic fibrosis transmembrane regulator protein. So deficient in CFTR protein, this will lead to abnormal secretions uh, which might affect lung, gastrointestinal tract, liver, male reproductive tract and pancreas. So this CFTR protein is actually a channel protein that controls the flow of water and chlorine ions in and out of the cells. So when the CFTR protein is working correctly, ions freely flow in and out of the cells. However, when the CFTR protein is malfunctioning, these ions cannot flow out of the cell due to blocked channels. So this causes the cystic fibrosis characterized by the buildup of thick mucus. So the first image shows the normal CFTR protein channel where the ions can freely move from in and out of the cell. The second image shows the malfunctioning of CFTR protein channel where the ions cannot move in and out of the cell due to blocked channel and which causes thick mucus layer. So in this image you can show, you can see the block airways due to thick and sticky mucus in the lungs and a blocked pancreatic ducts and bile ducts because of thick and sticky mucus blocks. So what actually happens in the lungs? during cystic fibrosis when there is a defective CFTR gene so the CFTR not only allows chloride ions to draw from the cell to aid surface liquid it also inhibits the channel which allows sodium ions to leave the aid surface liquid as you know the water follows sodium the depth of the air surface liquid will be depleted and the cilia will be left in the mucus layer. So this will cause the clogging of airways which causes difficulty in breathing. So how might tell electrophoresis assist in making the diagnosis? So in this case we actually used denaturing gradient gel electrophoresis. So this is a technique used for separating DNA fragments according to their mobilities under increasingly denaturing conditions. So with the help of this, we can compare the melting behavior of the DNA fragments and detecting, so by this we can detect fragments that have mutations. So this will help us to detect the CFTR gene in chromosome 7 which is defective. So, what is the molecular basis of large erythrocytes? The CF affects pancreatic secretion and intestinal motility. So, because of this, absorption of folate and iron is disturbed. When there is absorption of folate and iron is less, it causes megaloblastic anemia which leads to large erythrocytes. Thank you.